Hey guys, in this video, I'll show you how to download and install Android Studio on your Windows 10 or 11. Let's directly jump into that. Let's see how we can install Android Studio on our Windows PC. Go to this Android Studio download page, developer.android.com slash studio. Here, click on download and this page will show up. And here, click on download Android Studio mere get feature drop. Okay. So this is the latest version. The latest version will appear here. You just have to click here and accept the license agreement. I'm accepting it and clicking on download so it will start the download here for this tutorial purpose i have already downloaded the software as it is a very long file around 1.3 gigabyte i'll start from there so this is the executable android studio i have downloaded i'm double clicking and starting it if it asks for administrator access like do you want to allow this app to make changes click on yes then it will continue to install here select um, android virtual device 2 if it is not selected and click on next click on next install and it will install initial installation is very easy but after the installation you will have to download few tools like the sdk and other dependent files okay so if you install android studio completely all the dependency for developing android app on your pc will be set up but if you only want to install SDK, then you have to download a CLI tool, do some admin variable setup, etc. Okay, so Android Studio setup is complete. I'm clicking on next and start the Android Studio is checked. Clicking on finish and it will start the Android Studio for the first time. So after finishing the installation, this window appeared here. Click on don't send so that no data is sent to Google. And here, welcome to Android Studio page is appeared. Clicking on next. And here we have two options installation type standard and custom going with the standard installation and here as you can see the android emulator the virtual android phone will be installed it is around 404 megabyte android emulator hypervision driver a driver and a sdk build tool okay so this is one of the critical thing and all other things are required for developing android application on your pc okay so all those things will be installed and here the sdk folder is this keep that in mind this is the app data local android folder dot slash sdk okay click on next accept the license agreement here and click on finish it will be downloading the android emulator for the first time but this is only one time setup since we have started android studio for the first time that's why it's being installed later will be good to go here click on show details so that you know what is going on emulator download is complete it took around 10 minutes for all the things to complete since my internet was not that speedy okay so based on your internet it will take some time and after everything is complete i'm clicking on finish and android studio just started up so here we go since the studio is successfully installed let's start by cloning a repository and starting the project from github so this is a github project with gpl3 license let's copy the uh, clone url and go to android studio clone click clone repository paste the url click on clone let's name it for the first time that the project is successfully cloned it is asking me if i want to trust the project i am clicking on trust project and it is opening the project this is actually a open source project from github since it is opened for the first time it will import all the gradle dependencies since gradle is used by default for android so as you can see gradle is importing the dependencies it will take some more time once again but after everything is imported we can see that the project is opened so here if i go to project structure uh, i'll be able to see the uh, sdk version and also the jdk version used for this project but first of all you have to give some time so that gradle successfully imports all the dependencies so upon successful import of all the gradle dependency it is automatically building the app actually and at the top as you can see here we have the medium phone api this is the virtual emulator of android which is installed with this android studio so we can uh, start this 
parallel so that when the project is started we can easily test this on this emulator let's click here on start since we are importing it for the first time it is doing lots of thing but all those things are one time and yes my android emulator just starting and gradle build is finished in two minutes so since we are cloning a open source github project let's just ignore those improvement suggestions and let's see what happens after we start the emulator and run the app okay uh, yeah android emulator just started here and if i click here on run app let's see what happens yeah the build for this app is successful and the app is now running and the emulator is showing this page so since our app is a calendar app named eater calendar i'm clicking here and allowing some permission let's go back and give the app some permission yeah so this is the app we have built and here we can have different kind of view and also we can add some agenda and we have setting okay so this is the app we have cloned from a random github project and ran it on our android studio okay so you can search on github for open source android app you will have a lot of interesting apps and you can just uh, start your android app development with android studio and if you want to uh, develop your own you can always take the help from ai like cursor or windsurf opening android studio and that id at the same time so that you can leverage both and this way you can build the application in one so i would highly recommend you to search some uh, similar project on github the app you want to develop so that you can use that ad as a boilerplate and continue okay so if i close my application the emulator automatically stopped it and yeah, the emulator have the build of this app now okay so it is currently showing the calendar so that's it for this tutorial i'm uh, shutting down my virtual android phone thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video